This lesson will center around the definition of a topographic map. A topographic map is a graphical representation of the three-dimensional shape of the Earth's surface that shows both A, elevation, and B, shape. The topographic maps are used to determine the shape of the land and the land surface with contour lines. Contour lines represent the space between the contour intervals, which the contour interval in this case is the space between the lines that show the distance between one point to another. So here's a worksheet on topographic maps. You can either on your iPad type in the answers or if you have the physical worksheet that you brought home, you can just write in the answers with your pencil. So we'll start with the first question, what is the contour interval? So the scale here is in meters, one inch is one mile. That's for measuring distance between points. But down at the bottom, you guys can't see it here, but it's on your sheet. It shows that the elevation is in meters. So between the interval would be the space between each line, how much distance is in between it. So right here in this area, we can find it between 100 and 200. So you'd count the total number of lines in between from one point to another. So it would be one, two, three, four, five. So that would be 100 meters in between these two points divided by five points would be 20 meters. So you can check your answer by going 100 to 120, to 140, to 160, to 180, to 200. So the contour interval would be 20 meters. Then what is meant by the contour line? So a contour line, you guys can see these lines all over the map are contour lines to show the elevation on the map. So you can mark one of these as a contour line. Um, and you guys can see here that there are other things on the map. So like there's a river here, there's a bridge, railroad tracks. So the lines are the lines itself that show the elevation. So the next question, what is the maximum elevation at letter A? So letter A is down here. So you can take this 100 line over here and trace it all the way over. So this would be 100. Then we go up 20 meters, so it would be 120. Now these lines here, you can see they have these indentations on them. That shows that it's going downhill on these lines itself. So this would be 120. So this would be down 20 meters, so it would go to 100. Then it would go to 80, another down line. And then this here, you can see, doesn't have indentations on it, so it would go up 20 meters again. So it would be 80, and then it would be up to 100. So at point A, the maximum elevation would be 100. And you can see here what special feature occurs in the neighborhood of letter A. So this could be a plateau because this here is kind of down into a valley sort of, and then a sudden uprise here could be a plateau or uh, another elevation like a knoll or something like that, a small hill here. So what is the elevation of the highest possible point on the map? So the highest possible point, you would look for the meter area that's the highest. So up here is 300. So you can see here it gradually increases. So this is 100 up through 180, up to 200. Then up here, it could be kind of high up to 300, but up here is probably the highest point. So we go up to Pine Peak probably. So this would be 300, 320, 340, 360, 380. So 380 at Pine Peak would be the highest possible point on the map. So question six, what is the elevation of the closest contour line to the bridge? So the bridge you can see is right here. So we'd pick a contour line that's closest to the bridge. So it looks like this line here is closest to the bridge. So we trace that over and then it'd be 100. So it'd be 120 for the elevation closest to the bridge. And then question seven, how many miles of railroad track shown on the map? So this you need a ruler or something uh, that you can use that's standard to measure it. So this would be one inch is one mile. So we can use this to measure over and you guys can just estimate. I'm not too worried as long as you're pretty close within one or two, one mile maybe. So this would be two inches to that point. And then we can use this to go about from there is two inches as well. So total would be about four inches. So it'd be four miles for the length of the railroad. And then in what direction does the Blue River flow? How do you know is the final question. So this, um, you can see, gradually goes downhill because 100 and this is 200, so you can see it's gradually going downhill. So you can make um, the suggestion that it probably flows downhill into the ocean because the higher elevation here, it flows downhill um, into the ocean. And 
that's pretty much it on topographic maps. We'll talk about more in class, but as you can see, you could find out like points of A, B, E, C, and D, which we'll do in class, and you guys can use that by using the lines to figure out where it is. Um, also, you could measure like point X here, and there's point Y down here. You can use to measure to find the distance between places and the elevation. You could figure out like, is this going uphill or downhill? So there are a lot of uses for these maps, and hopefully you guys um, learn some things about topographic maps. And tomorrow in class, we'll talk about them more. So thank you guys for watching.